Okay, um, one of the things that we want to do out on the farm that the kids are not thrilled about is, well, we don't even know if we're thrilled about it or a little weird about it, is on the farm, we want it to be a self-sustaining farm. We want to be able to get all our meat and vegetables from the farm. And one meat that's cheap to raise and they produce a lot is rabbit. And I know, we've never had rabbit before. <laughs> and so we went to the Green Dragon uh, Farmer's Market the other night and from some Amish girls we bought a rabbit. So I'm going to cook this rabbit and our family's going to critique it. And what I can tell you about rabbit is Rabbit is, uh, let's see, rabbit is one of the healthiest meats. It only has 164 milligrams of cholesterol compared to chicken at 220 milligrams of cholesterol. Uh, rabbit has 795 calories per pound versus chicken at 810 calories per pound. It's higher in protein and lower in fat and our Biggest problem with raising rabbit is they're so darn cute that it's, you know, I, I, I don't know. This is, like I said, this is going to be tough. I don't really know if we could uh, kill a rabbit. Um, but I do believe that we should have a connection with our food. Every time we eat meat, we eat chicken, that animal is being killed for us. So, let us be thankful for the food that we do get. Um, I really want to have a connection with the food. So anyway, this is what I'm doing. I found this on the internet last night because like I said, we never had rabbit before. And what we're going to start off doing is salting the water. And we're going to, that's sea salt. in the fridge and all his guts ooh, we're gonna feed to our dog midnight because that's part of living on a farm is what you don't want to eat you feed your dogs so I'm putting this in the fridge now and we'll get back to you in a little bit thank you okay um, we're back now and we're gonna finish cooking our rabbit okay and first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna boil and season the body I'm going to put a little olive oil on. I'm going to rub it in. Rub a dub dub. Put the bunny over. some of our shows. She's a bit crabby right now. She's a bit crabby. That's okay. Put some inside of it. I'm trying to wipe my hands in between each of these. Okay. Then we're going to put a little adobo. My favorite seasoning in the world. Sarah, she's working the mic. Hello. Putting it in the bunny. 
Right here I have a little wild rice already cooked up and ready to go. Okay, and then I'm going to add some Italian seasoning to the bun. Jazzy sounds like she's off having a good time somewhere. Now I'm just gonna rub the bunny with the seasoning. Get a little more Italian seasoning inside the bunny. Okay, so rub them good. Rub around that. And now I'm going to brown him in the fire and frying pan. I'm going to get the juice, throw that juice in there. We really just want to brown the rabbit a little bit. That's all we're doing, browning our bunny. I've already preheated the oven to 350 degrees. Bunny's already starting to brown a little bit. Poor bunny. Poor bunny. We love bunny. Midnight loves the bunny. <laughs> She's like, mmm, that smells good. Continue to fry the bunny. Sarah, what do you think about the idea of eating a bunny? I feel bad for the poor bunny. The Why'd it have cute. to be so cute? I don't know. Why do bunnies have to be so darn cute? Okay. Now. I'm going to start filling up his belly with some of the wild rice that I have left. So we're having stuffed bunny. We're having stuffed bunny. Mm -hmm. Actually, this looks like it could be pretty good. Okay, I'm going to lift the bunny out of here. Putting in our pot. Turn off our oven. <sighs> I'm really just going to dump the little bit of rice that's left in here and the juices. Onto the bunny. And we're doing it simple. This is just Uncle Ben's wild rice blend, so it was pretty easy to make. It was nothing fancy. So. Good night. That's the rat dog chasing the cat. They have a love-hate relationship. A little more dobo. I love Italian seasoning. You will see me throwing Italian seasoning and adobo pretty much on everything. Okay, so now we're going to bake this bunny at 350 for an hour and a half. And that's it. And then we'll eat it and we'll see how it tastes. Hopefully this will cook right for me. So here we go. Bye, bunny. our timer. Alright, that's it. Okay.
Okay, well, how was that, Jazz? We're eating our pumpkin pie. Was it good? Well, I'll see it. You want to see it? Yeah. We'll show it to you later, okay? Okay, you got pumpkin pie for it. She's always happy and pleasant. <laughs> and Sarah, what did you think of the rabbit? Tastes like chicken. <laughs> Uncle Wade? I'd rather have pasta and pepper. Oh, stop. <laughs> well, not much left. So, <laughs> plus we have peas, wild rice. We're looking at you. Here's our milk. My husband gets it in bottles from some Mennonites down in the Philly area. Um, it's organic and we only pay like two fifty, and they take the bottles back. So, anyway, we really enjoy the rabbit. Now we're going to finish eating up our pumpkin pie. Well, Rachel, you get this. And, hold on. Tomorrow we will be going to the farm. So I'll see you there. Say bye, Jazz. Bye. Your data's uncooked.